we're going to try to do is connect up to the TSTZ2 motor and to do that we need to unplug the cable going to the speed controller or the speed sensor sorry okay so this this is the side that goes into the motor so this is the new speed sensor that I bought it's got two little connectors on it which is all right I guess so I'm gonna to need to cut that about there and wire it up to the ST link and then we should be able to connect up to the motor so let's go do that okay so um, here we are I've cut the cable and to my worst nightmare it's not the proper cable there are only three wires coming out of this cable and um, I'm really upset it looks like I'm gonna need um, you know four wires coming out of my cable so I'm gonna have to hack this thing now and um, I'm gonna have to see if I can get those wires connected to the right spot so just beware I did order the standard um, the standard sensor cable but they actually sent me this um, this Y cable instead and the Y cable does not contain enough wires anyway stay tuned okay so just busy soldering here I've got all the connections I think now which is the four wires and um, yeah I will uh, wire them up to this to this plug here so that we can get them onto the ST link okay so here we are with the finished product so I've managed to get to the back of the connector which we saw before wired everything up I used a little bit of glue to key the connector in so that we don't actually get it out of place there you go so there you go that's it so we've got for the colors we've got swim to black 5 volt to brown ground to orange and rst to purple okay hopefully this works next test will be to connect up to the motor and see if we can read the firmware on the motor all right so i have made up that little cable which i mentioned earlier that plugs into the um into the programmer we've unplugged from the speed sensor okay so this little cable here goes directly into the motor so I have also unplugged the battery now I'm running some power from the 5 volt on the ST link so that should be enough power to program the controller itself all right so we've plugged in and what I'm going to try to do is do a read Ah, oh, okay. What we need to do is configure. So we'll go to the visual programmer again, and we're just going to change the type. Now this time it's an X4, so it's an STM 8S105 X4. Okay. Now remember the LCD was an X6. This one's an X4. Everything else is the same. Okay. So we press OK. Now, I'm not sure if that's working. It seems to be thinking. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay, it's come up. Now, what I'm going to do is read all tabs. Okay. Okay, here we are. So, we do have a connection with the controller. Now, we can have a look. That's the, um, so this one's the program tab. Now we're going to go to the data memory tab. Now this is a section where um, we can have a look at adjusting the amperage and the voltage, the high voltage level and low voltage level for the motor. But because we're going to be using the open source firmware, we're not going to touch that. We're going to hand, we can handle it all in the LCD display. Okay, so let's leave that alone and we, we can have a look at that later so what I'm going to do before we go any further I'm just going to save each of these two tabs 
just in case I stuff something up and we have to go back. So just save that one as the memory. Okay, memory tab, save, and then go into the program, go into the program tab, and then just save that also. File, save as, and save that as the program. So if anything ever goes haywire, you can load your original settings back onto the TSDZ. It wasn't right protected, so we were able to make a copy of it. Okay, that's about it. I've got enough um, confidence now that we can flash the motor. That shouldn't be an issue. We don't want to flash it until we get the LCD 3 hooked up. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks. That concludes uh, the third video. Now the next one will be wiring up the LCD and it will probably be flashing the motor before we do some sort of testing. All right, thank you.